Hi everyone, welcome back to U-Boat. Here we are, U-96, and everything is going... Everything's going great. We are just doing final preparations to leave port on our next patrol. A few more things to do, as you see the guys are running around the, um, the port here. Uh, our research and development for the T-3 torpedo is still um, 1 hour and 51 minutes away, so we're not going to do that while we're in port. So we'll head out. And that will unlock on our next patrol. Right, quick check. Um, torpedoes are all sorted. We've got all we can on board. Let's uh, send the captain to the warehouse. Make sure we've got all the food and prep we need. Once again, big thank you to all of those who've been watching the channel. And giving us a thumbs up and, and supporting us as we go along. It really does help the channel. And it really does... Um, I just find it amazing. Thank you ever so much for your support. As always, hit that thumbs up if you want to see some more, and I'll bring you some more as soon as possible. Right, so we got 31 fruits, and we got uh, canned bread. Lovely. Sounds delightful, doesn't it, eh? Um, just kind of a look. What else we got here? Canned meat, cheese. Yeah, okay. Uh, Equipment-wise, we are good. Yeah, I think we're good there, thank you. Let's head over to the leading officer then and figure out where we can go today. Now, a lot of you have been saying, let's do something other than a patrol if possible. So let's see what options we have. And the computer says... Oh, crikey. <laughs> right, we can join the Kiel Flotilla, which is easy, low difficulty. We should be sailing up through the um, English Channel to Kiel. We can espionage mission at Cardiff Docks. Uh, your goal will be to transport a spy unharmed to coordinate 90, sorry, 52 North, 3 West near Cardiff Docks, my hometown. You may additionally order, you may receive additional orders to point and help the spy carry out this mission. Okay, you asked for something different. We'll do something different. Maintain Manfred Wagner's cover. Is he on board? I take it he's on board, is he? I don't know. I notice my uh, deck gun is still at a jaunty angle, which is great. Um, El Capitan, are you coming on board? Where are you? He's on board. Excellent. Right, I think then. Uh, oh, what? What? What are you doing? Stop! Stop! <laughs> crazy. He's gone crazy. Right, Captain, come down here for a second to the galley. Hang on, I need to zoom out a bit. And put your cheese in the galley, please. I don't know why you've got cheese on you. Has anybody else got any food on you? Yes, cola. You've got some. You're holding out with some exotic fruits. Put those in there, please. Anyone else? Anyone else help them? Luis, what? Honestly, what have you got on you? You've got canned fish. Why? Why? Everybody. Why? Right, let's just. Has everybody got rid of their. Right, cheese is gone. Good. Right. Cheese, canned food, and fruit is all back into the galley where it should be. Excellent. Helping themselves. I don't know. Now, that's obviously stuff they picked up. Um, not sure why the captain had cheese, but um, Cola had the fruit from obviously the last mission where we had to go board another U-boat and uh, give over some fruit because they had scurvy. Uh, and Luis, I think, had the, um, the canned fish because uh, we salvaged that from that wreck, didn't we? So there's Cardiff there. This is going to be fun. Let's uh, get rocking and rolling then. And uh, yeah, as soon as that ticks over, I am hoping there will be a recon, aerial recon for Cardiff. And we'll be able to do that. If not, we're going to be screwed. But um, we'll probably hit a mine and all sorts of nasties. But for now, we're just going to press on. And hopefully things will go well. So yes... Manfred Wagner, he's heading to Cardiff for a little bit of spying. Uh, fingers crossed we can get him there in one piece. Hi everyone, we're just sailing along and our T3 torpedo tech research has been completed. So the G7E Torpedo T3 has been successfully passed into production. Wonderful. Right. Cardiff Docks. 
We need a leader. Oh. Buggery buggery. We don't have a leader. We've got a radio man and an engineer. Oh, darn. We can't do that. We, clearly we need it because there's going to be mines and all sorts of nastiness. So um, what can we do then? A radio man for the Balkan. That could be interesting. T T2 hydrophone. Accumulators, an engineer for um, oxygen. Let's do that, actually. Oxygen's always going to be a good one. So we'll get him doing the accumulators. Damn, it would be nice to have done the recon. We really could have used that. So we're going to have to be super careful. Um, we have an optional uh, mission parameter to complete your objecti objective at night, which A would be good, obviously, because hopefully you'll, you don't get spotted. But um, it may mean spotting things like mines, which did for us at Scapa Flow. Could be a bit of a challenge. But um, we're going to have to overcome those as best we can. So, um, onward and upward, as they say. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. Right, we have been um, sitting under the waves for some time, but um, cause we've been, we detected some propeller noises, but um, we might as well surface the boat now. We've figured out what they are. As you can see, it's another U-boat. It's a Type 7C U-boat. Uh, so we might as well surface the boat uh, as all is okay, and we'll continue on to Cardiff. And uh, no doubt, death and destruction in the docks. Oh man, I'm not looking forward to that. But um, yeah, here we come, breaking the surface now. Low air reserves, don't you worry a jot about that. As we surface the boat, we'll get Adam on to sleep duty as well. He's looking very tired. Beautiful. All right, Adam. Let's have a look. Get your guy off and you say go off to bed as well. Everyone else is looking okay. Cola is on the old um, navigation at the moment. Uh, we can probably get the um, snorkel down. Thank you. And head over to no, no, no. Go back to navigation. Go back to navigation. Actually, he is quite tired. Um, okay, you you go off to bed as well, Hilbert, and we'll get Hoffman to uh, do the old navigation. Lovely. Right, snorkel's coming down, and um, in a second, it's quite foggy, so it should be quite safe on the surface at the moment. Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, we're coming down the estuary now. Um, and uh, yeah, there's Cardiff Docks. There is the location where we need to drop this guy off. So, it's pitch pitch black. <coughs> Excuse me. It's thunderstorm, as you can hear. Good news, it's 20 to 12. And we obviously need to... We've got an optional thing of dropping him off at night, which is looking like a fairly uh, thing that's going to be fairly possible. So, we're going to try and skirt around here as best we can. Hopefully not pick up any... Mm, shore coast, British coast, okay, yeah. Let's, uh, let's keep going. As, as kind of tentatively as we can. It's flicking between um, navigation modes close to shore and away from shore, which is just the um, nature of the beast, I'm afraid. Um, but it's okay. If we, if we get in here. Okay, we're coming up to the Welsh coast now. We can probably um, think about. Ooh. Our visibility has just dropped a little bit. What's the time? It's one thirty in the morning. Brilliant. So I'm guessing if we get close enough, it'll say you're getting close, and then we can send him aboard with a little um, inflatable launch. I'm hoping that's how it works. I'm not really sure. Never done one of these before. Slow down. Do we have to drive right onto the beach, maybe? Sounds a bit odd. A bit on on onomous. I uh, don't fancy doing that. It's, um... Oh, it's really laggy. <laughs> it's really laggy in Wales. Don't go in Wales. It's, it's really laggy. Right, okay. Um, ah, there we go. Full stop. Leave the area and send a report to headquarters. Okay, so mission accomplished. Let's head out. Uh, let's send old Gary Newman here. Onto the uh, onto the wireless and uh, get him to give us some 
Hey, get on the radio. Right, uh, reverse the boat, Chief, and uh, let's get out of Dodge. And, um... Yeah, let's go. Alright, as soon as he's on the radio, out of... out of range. Just give him a, a guy to sort of fiddle with the area a little bit. Okay, spy dropped off. We're now heading out of the area. Hopefully... Um, we should be okay. Too much work from the officers. Okay. Well, Kolo can um, unassign his guy. Those guys are working, so that's just the way it is, boys, I'm afraid. It's just the way it is. Um, let's continue on. Oh, okay, we're coming close to the shore, so it'll trigger out to a different uh, navigation mode. And fingers crossed, we can um, avoid anything. That's why I do want to go straight past Cardiff Dock. Just so we can keep out of the way of any mines, any uh, corvettes, anything like that. Right, mission complete. A thousand value. Woohoo! Okay. Incoming transmission. Let's get that decoded. Okay. Um, we finished the patrol inside the... Oh, hang on. That's not right. Okay, not, not that one. That's an old message which I hadn't read, obviously. Let's read this one then. Right, our spy Manfred Wagner communicated to us that his target in Cardiff Docks is heavily guarded. His mission is top priority for us and has to be aided at all costs. Your order is to prepare any kind of diversion near the port to draw out the port of attention. Oh, great. Great. <laughs> Thank, thanks, Manfred. Right, so we need we do actually need to go to the docks. Great. This is not what I was hoping we'd need to do. Right. Let's turn the boat. It is night time, but I do fear there's gonna be mines and all sorts. We can't do the aerial recon for this area because of we don't have a leader in our spare pool of um, tech researchers. So we'll come tentatively into the port region now. Hi everyone, as you can see, we're coming in very uh, slowly. We're on the electric engines. We've uh, put, brought the snorkel down, as you can see, it's coming down. Just so we don't give away our position with a bit of smoke. Uh, that's the thinking. Right, the captain had a couple of uh, bunk mates, <laughs> by the looks of it. But uh, we'll stick him on the attack scope now. Look at this. We're almost scraping the bottom. So shallow coming into the harbour. Uh, draw attention to the port defences. So, what defences does the port have, I hear you ask? Good question. Oh, it's got some. Yeah, it's got some guns. Look. Uh, I guess you know if we fire, if we get a sinker ship, can we see a ship? Detection. Who's detected us? I don't know. Right. Forward one. Let's slow down. Let's have a look, Captain. What can you see? You've got seven. Ah, okay. So we've got. Sh oh, he's on the wrong side of the keel there. Ship, ship, ship. Ship there. I got a large ship there and a smaller ship there. They those two might be the best to go for. Um, actually, stop here, Captain. Let's have a look through the old scoop. See what's a going dune. Right. Um, right. So there's there's one. I'm trying to get bearing from where we are. So ship there. Ship there, we may be able to snag the back of it. There's a ship there. And there's a ship there. And there's probably deck guns on here. Right, so I reckon... Let's target this one here. It's this one here we're going to target. And we're going to get the captain on there. Adam. Oh, God, if you go up here, it looks like there's water in the... Uh, in the actual room, but it's not. Let's get him on the hydrophone. Captain wants an extra man, so we'll assign him one. Right, Larice, have a couple of guys because we're torpedo west. It's a couple of guys because we're about to go to battle stations and all that kind of jazz. Good. Um, Hoffman, you're knackered. Go to bed. Cola, you head on to the old navigation station. Good. So this is the ship we're targeting here. If I can click on it, that one there. It's an unknown freighter. They're still working out with visual on the ship. Let's get uh, Newman working on that as well. 
Hi right, everyone, here we are. Right, we've we targeted this ship over here because you know the little one here, it's disappeared. Don't know what happened to it. It's just vanished. So uh, we're targeting due to where we, the nature of where we are. If you see where we are, we've um, kind of shot past. That's the ship we place where we were targeting, but there's a larger ship on the other side of the quay. So we're targeting this one here, and maybe we'll have a go at this one here. Uh, we are 78% um, sorted. Uh, so we're getting there now. Um, as soon as uh, we have 100%, we'll um, get... Lar oh, he's Laris has already gone to the torpedoes to start warming them up. He heard me, which is great. Um, Adam is looking very tired, in fact. So is the captain looking tired, but... Such is that. Cola would like a couple of guys to support him, but we're hanging fire. Right. I think that will probably do us, boys. If we um, flood two. Flood two. We'll grab that ship there. You can start calculating that. Fire. Torpedo 2, tube 2. Away, we are very shallow actually. Fingers crossed it doesn't hit the uh, the seabed. So here's that ship sitting there in the dock. Hopefully this will draw a bit of attention if we hit it. No more countdown it would seem. It's going to be about 20 seconds now. Ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven. Oh, I was a bit, I was a bit behind. Good hit. Alarm, alarm, alarm. That should hopefully cause some dis distraction within the port. Let's have a look. Seems a good hit. Quite a bit of damage. She's obviously not going to sink to the bottom because she'll probably just uh, rest on the bottom. Any second now, the alarm is definitely going. You can hear it chiming all the way through the... Um, it's a hit, and she is about to go. Serious damage. Wait for her health to finish. Any second. Now. She's gone. Empire Tower sunk. Draw attention to the port. We need to sink another one, then, it would seem. Okie okay, let's. Well, we've got the guys working on this one here. We are apparently 97% done, even though it's an unknown. Are we sure? Did I click on that? Yeah, I did. They are um, abandoned. No, hang on. That one. Let me get out. Clearly, I can't click on it. Like, there we go. That's better. The, but the, um, the click box of that one was clearly in the way from the angle I was at. So we, where are we? Oh yeah, we should still be able to get a good shot on that one. We are 61% calculated. Um, all looking good. Let's speed up time. Tube 2 has been loaded. That's grand. Uh, we're now at 82%. That's probably going to be enough because we're firing at a stationary target. So we'll load Tube 3 up. Flood it. I wonder how much we have to destroy before we get their attention. Fire. Oxygen down to 61%. Discipline. Too much work. In fact, Luis is doing this all on his own. Um, I might give those guys, because they're not doing anything, a bit of a break. Right, where's this torpedo then, eh? Yep, it's made it past the, uh, the key side, which is the important thing. Oh, we almost blew her onto the harbour side. Oh, that would have been amazing if we'd have grounded her. Oh, she's come away from the uh, the dock, though. She's broken her moorings, and she is drifting. Uh, she's drifting at quite a pace, but hopefully that means she's going down quite... Trevor. Trevor. Trevor, indeed. Serious damage. Watch out, Captain. She's coming for us. That would, could be the other thing. Okay, so we got... Health is still fading. That should be two large ships sunk. Hopefully that should be enough to get their attention. You'd have thought. You thought if you got two uh, large ships being blown up in your own 
harbour that would distract the uh, port defences. She's kind of stopped there. They are abandoning. Okay. Well, they still don't seem to have got our, their attention. So, where's our boat? We are pointing that way. Can we have a look at this one? Torpedo ausrichten. Alright, 11%. I do have a worry that this ship is the worst to turn in the world. So I'm hoping the torpedo could maybe turn around there. That one's still classed as floating. We may need to put a second torpedo into that. It's a bit of a waste of a torpedo, but... Oh. Yeah, wait, wait for one to be preheated and then uh, we'll launch it at this one. We've all got 93%, so that's... Just, just, just to finish it off, we just need to get this ticked over so we can get out of the port. I don't like sitting here. I find it very uncomfortable. Apparently he doesn't need his support. Right, flood, flood tube one. But he's got his two guys. As soon as I fire this, you watch that go down before it hits. Right, torpedo tube one away. This one is still being calculated. Here we go, following the torpedo in. Looking good on target. Hopefully this should just finish that ship off nicely. Normally you'd jump up with a deck gun and finish it off, but obviously you can't really do that in this situation. Be very bad for your health. Oh no, I think we hit the drum set. <laughs> um, Trevor. Trevor. I'm wondering if that was... Gary. I'm going to call him Gary Newman now. Gary, get on the old radio. Gary? Herr Kaloy? Gary. Aye, aye, Herr Kaloy. And assign that. Oh. Um, I, I have to say that there has been a patch uh, which has fixed many of the clicking points when it comes to assigning uh, the radio engineer between the two uh, stations. Uh, however, I'm not on that currently because um, obviously I'm continuing on with the, my old gets. Uh, save game. So if I want to get all the good stuff, then I have to um, start a new game. So I'm just hanging off for that at the moment. Many of the stuff does work, which is okay. Right, that's sunk. Um, where's that ship over here somewhere? Ship number B. This is the one we're going for. 73%. Now I'm going to wait for this to get full to 100% because um, we may need the uh, the full calculation because I'm not sure how quite sure how this is going to go. I'm hoping if we're we're at that angle, we can fire a torpedo and it can bank around. We will see. Well, 99% is that all we get? That might be all we get. Okay, so let's flood tube one. If this if this doesn't go well, then we'll we'll turn this way and fire the tube five at them. That's probably the other way of doing it. It, it may it may get it. Let's follow that. Yeah, that torpedo turned nicely, actually. No problem at all. That really did arc quite sharply round, which I'm surprised at, but that's brilliant. It's brilliant. Well happy. Right. Can't really get a good underwater shot there. 30 seconds. There's no way, unless we come in here, that we can have a shot at the ships there and there. They're a little bit out of our... There's a ship there that we might be able to have a shot at. I think we will have a shot at that, in fact. So this is a, um, this was an N1A1, wasn't it? Or N NA1, N-A1 type uh, transport. Trevor. Trevor. Yeah, that's one thing I've, I've got to flick away from that, haven't I? Let's have a look at that. How is that? Serious damage. Health is dropping quite severely. Good. Let's target uh, this ship here then. I know you're tired, guys. And you've got your support that you need. And this one is gone. Another ship sunk. I don't know what I need to do to get their attention. 
if sing <coughs> excuse me, think sinking three ships isn't enough, I don't know what is. Right, we'll try four, just in case that's the secret number. Okay, this ship here is now at 93%. Let's flood one. It's an emperor. No, let's, let's load two up, because sometimes it takes two to get these kind of ships. Tube one flooded. Went for two. Fire. Nice. Okay, torpedoes inbound. Let's see, two of them, so that should, as long as we don't get a dud, be good enough to get this kill. Uh, still a chance with a pre preheated torpedo to get a dud, but they are obviously um, reduced the chances of it. Good hit. On one. On torpedo number two. Woo! Wow! Good God! Now, come on, that has got to get their attention. We blew the front of the ship off. Look at that! It's incredible! Where'd the other half go? Over there? Wow. Wow. That was spectacular. And that's rolling over as well. Oh, look at that. Brilliant! Trevor! Trevor. <laughs> Minimal damage! Right, okay, well, we are getting a little bit low on oxygen. And our discipline is um, getting uh, down because uh, everyone's getting tired. So I'm going to put the guys to bed so they can have a rest up. Uh, anyone shirking duties? Uh, we're in. We're in. This night time is quite difficult to see. So let's go to uh, normal. Normal running. 6:50 in the morning. We should be okay. Everyone's actually. There you go. Are you okay? Are you bleeding? Stefan, what's happening? There's, why is there blood everywhere? West. Seriously. Oh, it's not West. Who, who's that? It is West. Why is there blood everywhere? What's going on? Are you okay? Are you okay? Why is there blood around the ship? Is this turning into some sort of horror game all of a sudden? the hell is going on? It's really thick, gloopious blood as well. Look at that. It's almost like a wax. Are you guys sure you're okay? Then they'll cut some bangs. Could be a bang to the head because that really does bleed quite profusely without any real damage. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on there. Oh, there's blood in here as well. Okay. Um, right, Hoffman. What are we what we need to do, what we're going to do actually, we're going to leave this area. I think we've done enough. We should have done enough. I don't know what they're complaining about if we haven't done enough. Um, let's come out of dodge. And what we can maybe do is get to about here, we'll surface, and maybe they'll start firing at us, then we'll dive away again. And maybe that will be enough to uh, convince them that we've done some good stuff. I don't know what more they want from me. Four ships sunk. That should have got anyone's attention. Even even the, the, the most sleepy of security guards on the port would have noticed four ships being sunk. Especially that one being blowing in, blown up in two. Right, um, Hoffman, you're going to get up, Sunshine. Uh, we are going to... Hello? We're going to... Um... Hoffman? Happy <laughs> team. Oh... Put the snorkel up so we get some fresh air in. I think we can get air in through the snorkel, can't we? It's not just for the engines. I'm pretty sure. Here he comes. Right, snorkel going up. You hop onto yeah, the old there. Um, let's get going. And uh, hopefully we can uh, get out of here before we uh, we die. Good. Apparently we're quite visible. Visibility nine percent. Well, that's not too bad actually. Right. In the meantime, Larice 
Um, we're on the old electric engines, are we? Okay, let's get the electric compressor going then. Get that up and bubbling, and we should be good. Right, oxygen is increasing. Good, so the snorkel does add oxygen. I thought it did. That's fantastic. Good, so normal lighting. Oh, oh we're underwater, so we want blue lighting. Of course we do. Captain. Yeah, boy. What happened there? Okay, they've spotted us. Excellent. Captain, snorkel down, please. Oh crikey, they're getting really close. Let's report all mission complete. Mission successful! Huzzah! Um, so there's a diversion created successfully. Cardiff Docks infiltration completed. We are generally, genuinely impressed with the group, uh, the scope of the success of this assignment. We wish you all the best in your crew. Headquarters. So, um, 115,464 tons sunk, one day and um, 18 hours at sea. We um, 30,000 re reward in budget and uh, plus 75 in reputation. Whoa! Okay, all out, all reverse. Oh no! Okay, he's, he's patching him up. He's patching him up. It's okay. It's okay. Let's get full, full reverse. Come on. Okay, I think he's okay. Is he okay? Is he okay? Is he okay? Newman, is he okay? Larice, are you patching him up? I think he's patching him up, isn't he? No, he's not. He's sitting there. Right, hang on. Gary, Copy come on, Gary, it. get on your old medic. Get go go down and help Felix. Get a, take a chat it's with you so you can have a nurse made. Gary, Gary, please. Oh, for love of God, Gary! I know his name's Adam. Oh, is is Felix West healing him? Oh, Felix healed him. No, he didn't. Right, grab a. Uh, where are all the med kits? Where are the med kits? Are they in the storage, maybe? Ah, yeah, grab med kits. Quickly now. Oh, no, uh, West is actually fixing stuff. Okay, we're reversing as fast as we can away from Cardiff Docks. That seems to be working a treat. Oh, God. Um, yeah, okay, right. How are you doing, Newman? Here he comes. No, don't think you... Oh, great, I'll take control of him, for Christ's sake. Don't let Larice go. He's one of our best guys. Right. No, where is he? There he is. Look. Take command now. I want you to... Um, I want you... To heal him. Is he really just... Doing something on the bed now? I'm guessing this is just uh, this the graphical representation. It's fine. Right. Meanwhile, are we reversing into the uh, the mainland? I think we are. Right. Forward one, and the head over here. Oh yeah. Oh look at the damage we took right there. We're. I'm amazed we're still alive. Oh, I think he's okay. Oh, well done. Well done, Gary. He's okay. Oh, what damage do we have to the torpedo launchers? That's not a, to, to a torpedo itself. That's not too bad. Oh, okay, I panicked slightly there, but I thought I recovered reasonably well. Good. <laughs> right, Hoffman, get that up. We'll get some oxygen in here. Discipline is uh, is starting to get low. People are starting to panic a wee bit, which is understandable. There's blood on the floor. We've been shot at. Um, our most popular engineer has been hit. 
Is the snorkel going up? Snorkel's going up. Can we stay on electric motors though? Yes, so we don't give any smoke out. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, things are going great. We're making our way. We've got out of the Bristol Channel and now we're heading um, back to the Bay of Biscay so we can get some... Um, some action, right? Uh, let's get you in bed, Cola. Let's get you on the old navigation station. We got West sorting out the diesel engines, and we've got Luis. Um... What? Why is what? Why is he out? Why is he swimming? What have we done to Luis? Where is he? Ekaloi. Newman's okay, thank God. We haven't we haven't drowned him. Right, hang on. Let's go back. Go back. Capitan. He seems to be Okay. Okay, let me let me just let me just come outside and let's just see. Where is he? Where is he? See on the other side of the boat, maybe. Was this some sort of punishment? Is it like when they used to, um, in the good old pirate days, when they used to uh, tie a rope under the ship and then drag you from one, you know, under round the hull with all the barnacles and used to cut all your skin to pieces? Is that what we're doing to Luis? Why are we doing that, boys? This is insane. Um, maybe if I send him to go to bed. Uh, he's resting apparently with Davy Jones it would seem but he's resting I'm trying to, it's so dark I can't really see but yeah anyway okay so Larice is he might be dead I'm not quite sure <laughs> he's outside the boat for some reason right discipline is up to 98% which is good reputation we've got a point and we've got plus 40% which is grand and I did level our boys up so Newman no it wasn't West leveled up and I gave him the repairs consume 25% less time. Be very useful as he's at the back of the boat with all the engines and a lot of the um, the major stuff. Luis, if he survives, I gave him being able to salvage scrap and uh, metal and work that into spare parts because obviously he's normally torpedo man, so that might be useful. Uh, and they're the two skills that we've we've, we've gained this time. Um, all pray for Luis. Uh, fingers crossed. We'll get him back on board. Maybe he's just having the wash. Who knows? Um, I don't know. It's a bit worrying. Uh, but we'll press on and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, and in the dead of night, we creep into our own port and uh, look for the area that we need to crash into to uh, park the ship. Um, yeah, so we'll dock up here between these two towers. Head for the crane, basically. Um, Sure, I thought there was a ship there for a minute. It was just the uh, the building behind it. Yep. So if we just sort of crash into this, and we should be good. Um, we'll just slow down a little bit. We don't want to. We don't want to come in full. No, we're coming in forward one. It's fine. Should be enough. Should we just um. Full stop. Our momentum should let us bump gently into position. Right, so we're back in port. Um, this is where we have a look and see if we can find Luis. Um, no, he's he's, <laughs> he's just floating about under the boat, drowned. Yeah, I'm not sh I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure what to say. Um, Right, Larice, can we can we order you up here? Can you get these loaded? Mm, no. No. 
I don't think it's going particularly well for Larice at this stage. Um, right, okay, so we've we've obviously... I don't know how I can always find these bugs, but I always can. It's amazing. I've got a real talent for it. Um, but we're back in port now. We'll get the... Um, let's just have a quick look at the uh, recruitment. Requires a skipper. Did I not click on the skipper? There we go. Uh, we're just going to see if there's a spare engineer for purchase. Because um, if there is, we'll, we'll try and rotate Larice off the ship, then put him back on the ship and see if that will... Um, so if I take Larice off, and I'll add, um, can I not? I'll add Milner, or Muller, sorry. Right. So Larice is gone, and uh, Muller is on the on the ship. If I now send the captain again back. And let's see if we can switch over to get Larice back. Uh, so we want to get rid of Muller. We don't want to get rid of Muller, but you know we just want to say um, stand him down. There he is! Oh, they've dragged him out of the sea. <laughs> they've put some wet clothes on him, so oh, some wa waterproof clothes on him, so he's not going to get um, too bad. Oh, Luis is back! Hooray! Okay, and the, the other thing I noticed, Captain's level three. Um, so he's now got a cookery skill. Oh, wonderful! Yeah. Okay. We'll we'll level up his cookery skill. Um, so the officer can be assigned to work in the galley. He will provide discipline bonus for the crew by working there. Well, I'm surprised having the captain on board. Right. Um, Larice is going to start loading up the torpedoes. Fantastic. We brought him back from the depths of Davy Jones' locker. <laughs> and he's alive. He's alive, I tell you. Fantastic. Right. U96 survives another patrol. We have managed to infiltrate the Cardiff defences and place a spy on, on land and uh, then cause a distraction and get out of dodge. Fantastic. Quite a, quite a busy episode. We um we also have a reputation point to spend, so we could actually bring another officer in next time, perhaps. I think an extra officer would be quite good. Maybe a radio officer, so we can um, have both radio and the listening booths occupied during trying times, but also rotate the guys so they've got a bit of leniency there as well. Great, right in the bl in the in the in the blumps in the darkness of our port. With the, look at the, the damage where we took some hits. Uh, we'll get this repaired, we'll get reloaded, resupplied, and we'll be going out for another patrol. You asked for something different than a random patrol? I hope that was something different than a random patrol. Um, yeah, it's interested indeed. Hopefully we'll get some more action torpedo-wise in a sort of like a combat zone rather than firing at blank targets or stationary targets. Uh, but we'll pick that up next time. So, once again, thanks so much for your support for U-Boat. I hope you've enjoyed that video. Hit that thumbs up if you have. And if you haven't already, consider hitting the subscribe button and tickling the bell next to it so you get all the videos into your video feed. Excellent. I'll see you next time.